I have been asked a few times about what add-ons I use. I'm finally making this video to show my current loadout and the reasons why I consider these must-have add-ons for ESO. I'll provide timestamps, names, and links in the description, so feel free to bounce around and return to this video in the future if you need to use it as a resource. I've attempted to order these from UI and straightforward quality of life game improvements to combat and eventually to crafting. First add-on is an absolute must. It's called Map Pins. Not only does this have so much information in it, it's also incredibly lightweight. One of the smallest add-ons listed here weighing in under 500 kilobytes. Some of this information may not be new to experienced DSO players. Add-ons for lore books, Mundus stones, and sky shards have been available for years. This has all that, plus survey locations, treasure maps, Sigic rifts, pretty much anything on the map, you name it, it's here. What's important is that this add-on not only includes all the other map location add-ons, so you can remove all those, but it's combined into one it requires no additional lib files, and the performance impact is near zero. This is what peak optimization looks like. Next up, which seems like an obvious, Votin's minimap. Why this isn't built into the base game, I don't know. It's a standard MMO feature. There are other minimap add-ons out there, but for the simple fact that this one is separate, and it's often the first to update, work consistently after each patch, Combined with the wealth of optimization, I always recommend Botans. One setting I would recommend enabling is Show in Combat. Especially helpful in situations where you may be stuck in combat, or you have to navigate something while stuck in combat. Think Cradle of Shadows Last Fight, or Battlegrounds Maps. Advanced Filters This may not seem like a big deal, but ESO's inventory is pretty intense, and I can't rightfully recommend inventory grid view here to make it more like WoW because I've had performance issues with it on numerous PCs, across different patches, and I'm picky. However, with advanced filters, you can take that big long list of inventory items and start making sense of it using a variety of, well, filters. Combined with search, you can start to whip through your items quickly. Dressing room, again, something that seems like you would find it built in, but alas, it's not. Especially with how versatile characters can be, swapping sets frequently, often numerous times during a trial is common. Dressing room takes care of that. You can set up gear loadouts and skill loadouts and map them to hotkeys. It also has the ability to recharge your weapons with a soul gem automatically. Neat little thing. This requires a keybind to be set in order to use. Postmaster is a mail add-on that I primarily use just to loot all mail items from all my hirelings or PvP and daunted rewards. While there is more to this add-on, I just simply use the take all function in the mailbox. It's a huge time saver. Superstar is the ultimate tool for builds. What I want to highlight here is another thing that should be built into the base game, and that's the stats it exposes. Physical and spell penetration, for instance. You'll need to keybind this one as well. Action Duration Reminder is quite possibly my favorite add-on, and again, I don't know why this isn't built into the base game. This adds timers on the action bars just like every other MMO, which is incredibly useful. Not only does it provide the proper feedback in the proper location, but it'll help you get the most out of your resources because you won't need to accidentally reapply a buffer skill. This one is a must for anyone doing Trials. Raid Notifier. Most trials groups, and especially guilds, require that you have this add-on. It simply calls out different alerts that happen in fights, phases, or things that you need to do in order to survive. It also alerts when your food buff runs out. Combat Metrics is another classic. This tracks your damage in fights. You've heard of DPS numbers from parses like 50k, 60k, or 70k parses. This is where that number is coming from. Pretty straightforward to use the UI part here, However, it does have a lot of options so you can dig in and find the data you're looking for to improve your game. Lazy Rit Crafter is the go-to add-on for completing daily writs. With this, it will automatically accept the writs at the board and automatically complete them at each table and also automatically hand them in and automatically accept the rewards and automatically open the containers from said rewards. <sighs> 
it truly lives up to its name. However, I actually don't use this for provisioning and alchemy writs anymore. It stopped working many months ago, so now I use... Daily Provisioning and Daily Alchemy. Super straightforward add-ons, almost no setup, lightweight and automated, highly recommend them. Writ Worthy is one for the master crafters out there. This add-on is specifically for master writs. You can do quite a bit of sorting and customizing in the interface, which again, you'll need to keybind. I've used it for a couple years and it's awesome. There is another add-on that's quite extensive and useful called Craft Store. Personally, I don't use this as I've ran into numerous issues. However, it is incredibly convenient. It has all the recipes built in for nearly everything and you can automate nearly all the crafting you could want. Tamriel Trade Center. This is a bit of a two-parter. The first one is the add-on itself which will show you what the item is selling based on the data that they have on their website and will also track the items you put up for sale on their website. This is all tracked on their own third-party database separate from ESO. Part two of this is that website. Without the add-on, you can actually just go here and browse for items you wanna buy. If someone has put it up on a guild store and is using TTC, it'll be listed here. I've used this a ton and it has saved so much time. I'd like to take a moment to give a shout out to my supporters and a big shout out to my supporter plus members, Mr. Trend and Tyler Burton. Of course, there's way more add-ons out there I could cover here, but I just wanted to cover my top ones. So finishing this out, there's a lot of UI customization and full overhaul UI mods out there. And you gotta find what you prefer. There's AUI, LUI, and others. I personally am fine with the general looking layout of ESO stock, but I do prefer to clean it up a bit. I used to use clean UI, but it stopped working. Then I switched to dark UI and I love it. That gives a flat look to the resource bars and an overall clean aesthetic to the menus and icons. That's my list of must have add-ons for ESO. If you found add-ons here that are helpful, share this video with others who may also find it helpful. That's it for now, until next time.